All right. So this piecewise function is like two problems for the price of one. This function has like multiple personalities. It doesn't know what it wants to be. f of x is going to be 2x plus 2 if the x's are less than 0, and it's going to equal 3 if the x's are greater than or equal to 0. So your dividing line is x equals 0, and on this side where the x's are less than 0, the y is going to equal 2x plus 2. Remember the f of x is like a y. And then on this side, when x is greater than or equal to 0, y is going to equal 3. So that's great. You know it's going to be a line over here and another horizontal line over there. And you can't just start plugging in values. So what we can do is we can plug in on, on this side. If I plug in negative 1, I'm going to plug it into this one. So I can make a little xy chart if you want to keep it organized. Like if I plug in a negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. If I plug in a negative 2, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. If I plug in a negative 3, negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. And I can see that's 1, 2, 3, 4. I can count. That's my line. Now, what does it do at this boundary point? Technically, I'm not allowed to equal 0 because it doesn't have the little equal sign under it. But I could be really, really close to it if I wanted to. I could be like, for an x less than 0, I could be like negative 0.1111. Yeah. So, but so I can't get at it, but I want to plug it in anyway. So that's an idea. You're going to want to plug in the boundary points for both. What I want to do is when I put it in, I want to make it an open dot. So 2 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. Open dot there since I'm not allowed to equal it. That's my line on this side. So that's what it's doing for the x's that are less than 0. For the x's that are greater than or equal to 0, y is going to be 3. Well, when x is 1, y will be 3. When x is 2, y will be 3. When x is 3, y will be 3. It's a constant function that's just a straight line. Now here, when x is 0, y will also be 3. So it's going to go ahead and fill in that line, that dot, and we're going to get that over there. Uh, I could have made an xy table here, plugging in stuff that's greater than or equal to 0 and getting these Points, the points that I said aloud, you can do in a table if you don't like to just do it in your head. So, this line for the x's that are less than 0, this line for the x's that are greater than or equal to 0. Two problems, price of 1. It looks scary, but it's not so bad. Alright, let's do another one.